Hello and welcome back to the Green Workbench. This video is a little bit different. It is not a full review. It is just a walkthrough of a specific function of the A4 Professional 4 channel mixing console. The one I have is branded Tuga, but there are multiple brands that you can buy. They're all less than $50 online. So I wanted to try it out. I have a condenser microphone, so I need phantom power, and I wanted some way to digitally connect that microphone into my laptop using USB. So I had another adapter that plugged into the audio jack, so then I'm using the sound card of the computer, and those are generally not great. So I wanted to try this out, and for under 50 bucks, it was worth a shot. So I have my con condenser microphone. It is all set up here. So I have my USB cable that comes with the unit. It is USB powered. So you wanna make sure that your laptop is actually providing the power. So I have my laptop plugged in. I don't know that it would supply enough power if it was on battery. Plug it into the USB port. There we go. All right, you saw the power lit up. So now I'm going to plug in my XLR cable to line one, maybe, there we go. All right, so I need phantom power. There's a button right here that turns on a light. You see it says PC. There's a little button in the back that switches. If I turn it off, it's line. So you wanna make sure that button is out for PC. Now when I did that, the question is what does my computer say? So it, I'm in Adobe Audition. Any audio recording software should be pretty similar. So it recognized that a different sound card or sound device was plugged in. So it's asking me if I want to open the audio hardware preference. I do so default input here is the it comes in as a microphone so that is my mixer device right there so i use that yes that's my default input default output doesn't matter right now but i'll just put it to the computer speakers all right so let's turn off the mic that i'm currently using or actually I'll leave that on so you can hear me talking, but I'm going to step over, push record here. Just leave it as untitled. And now I'm going to talk into my condenser mic. I'm right up against the mic. Here you see. All right. So as I'm doing that, there is gain that I can adjust the gain on the device here. You can see that up and then I'm adjusting down here the total volume I can adjust, and then it has a high and a low adjustment. It also has effects. I can adjust echo and reverb by, with the push of a button. So it looks like it is working. Let's stop the recording and see what happens. Mike. All right, this is just coming out of my computer speaker, so it's not great quality, but... So, as I'm doing that... All right, so you can see that it worked well. It processes the sound, provides phantom power to my condenser mic, converts it to the USB, which pops up as a microphone in the software program. Super easy, it didn't have to do any adjustments, didn't have to install any kind of drivers. It just worked, it recognized it right away. So it looks like this is going to be a great purchase. And I just wanted to do this quick kind of review slash walkthrough of this one function because it's the function that I needed it for and I couldn't find any videos that were specifically about plugging in a condenser mic with phantom power to a laptop. So. There you go. I hope that helped. Please subscribe, click the notification button, and I will see you next time on the Green Workbench.